Let's now try and join the house to the access road. So we'll go to our model space environment. I'd like to uh, just adjust the layer slightly here. I'll turn off the shadows for the building and I will make Psy Road the current layer. And I'm also going to turn on the layer walls and this will show me where the where the garage position is supposed to be on the house. At least I think it will. Yeah, here we go. We've got two two small purple lines here and indicate the access to the garage. Okay. So I'll put ortho on just to start off with and the O snaps as well. And let's check the O snap settings. Perpendicular end, mid, center, intersection, that should be okay. Okay. What I'll do is I'll just draw a line from the edge of the garage door outwards. I'm just going to go about halfway between the road and the house. And now I'm going to take that line perpendicular to the road. Now we usually set up our roads to meet perpendicular because this makes visibility for each for the driver the same in each direction if you come in at an angle it's much more difficult to see back the way okay well now I like to to smooth that off I don't I don't quite like the the angular change there I'm going to fill it that together with a radius so f return R return and I'm going to set a radius uh, that's quite big say 20,000 okay this uh, the the kind of dramaticness of this fillet with the radius uh, is dependent on the angle that the lines are meeting anyway so if I pick these you see it's not exactly stunningly dramatic so it's only that's the only part of this 20,000 radius arc that we can see you can see its center points up here, which will be 20 meters away. Okay, for it to be tidy, what we'll do, we'll offset by a road width. Uh, well, let's actually make the road the same width as the garage doors. So we, we use the offset command as O return. But you let your O snaps pick up the distance from the drawing. So end point to end point. And then pick your lines. The curve will offset as well, and everything will touch exactly. Because it's been filleted with a radius, this is absolutely tidy. Right, we want to join our small track to the main road. And if we curve these off, it would make it much easier for a vehicle to get in. Um, so we do the same job. So it's fillet, R, radius, this one's going to be a fair bit smaller. So let's say it's only 4.5 meters. So a radius of 4500 return. I can't actually refill it just yet. What I should have done first is break this line. Break the line, then fill it. So F return. The radius is sitting there set. I can just pick the lines and they join tidily need to just tidy up the footpath a wee bit so the distance on this footpath is 1800 I'm just going to check that there's the 1800 so offset 1800 return take the curve come in curve come in now because this is all being joined together using fillets and radiuses and the likes, these two curves should be able to trim this yellow line. And that's just how accurate the software is. So TR, return, pick your curve, curve, return, pick your yellow line. Now join across here, let's say the pavement is brought in cleanly and we'll come across here as well to show there's a change in ownership. Use the match properties tool, so that's MA, and you can make these lines be the same as the pavement. I've picked 
the source object and applied it to the other four objects that needed changed. That's looking fairly tidy, but there's actually nowhere to, to, to leave a car outside. You kind of drive in and you have to either go in the garage area or abandon it on the track, and then you couldn't go past if you had two cars. So I need to create a bit of space over in this area. So what we'll do is we'll offset by 6,000. So now take the upper line and go down. Now 6,000 is the distance you need behind a car to be able to turn. So if a car came in here, parked here, and then reversed, he can get back out. Okay. Next offset is 5,000, and this is the length of a car. So this is where he's actually going to park. He parks here, maneuvers here, drives away there. So use the align command to tidy things up. And we'll offset these. Let's have let's say he wants four parking spaces for his friends. So O return the width of a car parking space if it's five thousand long it should be two five zero zero wide. So pick the line, offset. Keep doing that until you get four parking spaces. Draw yourself a line back up to there. Right, we've got a bit of tidying up to do first, so let's let's use trim. Take all these lines, return, and just tidy up to get the crude kind of toothbrush type appearance here. Now it's a bit awkward, it's, it's difficult to use this space, and it's difficult to use this space if you don't curve these off, because they're too, too hard. It, it just makes it difficult to maneuver into that space. So we'll fill it these corners, so F return, R return, and let's make the fillet uh, 2250. Now, even though this is a curve, it will still fill it to a straight line. Return again, do the same on this side. That looks nice and tidy. Now, this looks a bit formal, you know, it does look a bit silly, like a it's kind of strange brush. So, let's make these look a wee bit more graphic. Now, one way of doing that is to is to lose parts of these lines. Sometimes you do it using dash lines, but a bit more consistency is if you actually trim away. So use a circle, so C return, place the circle here, and the radius, you choose a radius of 300. Now copy that circle, so CP return, pick the circle, return, base point, destination. Okay, all looks a bit strange just now, but it'll come together in a second. Now use trim. TR, return, capture everything there, and return. And we just pick away the bits in between. So we've got these kind of parking space markers. Get rid of the circles. delete those and it looks a bit more comfortable. You know, it's not likely we'd have a different surface here on such a small road. You're going to use the same material for the whole thing. We're just really identifying that there's five potential four potential places to leave a car. The fifth one being in the garage. Okay, now let's change to layer side path. And we'll just put in a bit of landscape coming away from here down into the garden area. So if you arrived here and parked your car, you kind of walk onto some hard surface here and then into the house and through. So let's make this an area that's, you know, clean and dry, that you would kind of kick off wellies, you know, dog would sit there, etc. And then we'll draw a polyline from the middle of this line. So PL, return. Pick midpoint to start your line and drag it downwards a, a bit of straight line. So ortho's on. Now turn ortho off. 
I want to draw an arc now. I want to come away with a bit more freer shape. So A, return. And because we started with a straight line segment, the curve acts in a kind of tangential fashion. So it's very clean and true. So I'm going to bring that along, head off in this direction, curve around a bit, and then finally the path's going to fade off at that position. Okay, that's the center line of the path. If we offset it either way by 600 millimeters, so O, return, 600, return. Take it each side by 600 millimeters. That gives you a 1200 millimeter wide path in total, which is enough space for two people to walk side by side. Pick the polyline and delete it. Now this looks a wee bit harsh, so what I could do here is just tidy things up a wee bit by a couple of offsets to create a little transition shape. Then use trim. It looks a bit tidier. So these two portions can go in the bin. And there we have our hard landing, hard landscape layout ready for hatching in the next stage.